Thanks for joining us today on Living Supernaturally, our daily devotion, um, where we take time to look into the Word of God. And we've been studying the Word of God about the walk of a believer, the walk of a disciple, and how we need to live our life, conduct ourselves, and regulate ourselves. Um, today, we're going to look at another aspect of it, that our walk is an example. So Paul talks about his walk, his life, and how that is an example. So we look at uh, some aspects of how we should not walk and how we should walk. Let's look at Philippians 3 and verse 17. It says, Brethren, join in following my example and note those who so walk, for you have us for a pattern. So he's saying, you know, this, um, join in following my example, you see the way I walk and you walk in the same manner. You see the, the way those who walk in similar manner, not, not those who so walk, and you have us for a pattern. And the pattern means that we follow that example. We look at that pattern so that we can pattern ourselves according to that same pattern. Right? So he, he goes on to say certain things we need to avoid. Okay, this is in verse 18. It says, for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. Verse, eight, verse 19, Philippians 3, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. So he's very particularly talking about the kind of walk to avoid. So he's saying that, you know, the end is destruction because the God, their God is their belly. They live for the appetites of their body. Right? They are the enemies of Christ. He's saying that uh, these are probably people who are there in the church and who are probably influencers, but the way they walk is according to their own appetite and they are enemies of the cross of Christ. They are enemies because they do not please God in the way they live. And uh, they set their mind on earthly things. So their mind is already always filled and it's aligned to carnal things, earthly things, fleshly things, and not on things that would, that would be the will and the uh, things that would please God. So what is that walk that he wants us to walk? Now that he's mentioned you know, these things that you should avoid, now, if we back up to verse 12, he says this, Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus also has laid hold of me. So he's saying, I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus also has laid hold of me. So that's a way to follow. That's a pattern to follow to press on no matter what and to lay hold of that for which Christ is to, to lay hold of that. Maybe it's a call, it's a purpose, it's a responsibility, uh, it's a ministry, something that for which Christ has laid hold of us, to lay hold of that. Right? And then he goes on to say, verse 13, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, Forgetting those things that are be, which are behind, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Forgetting those things which are behind. So it could be accolades, accomplishments, it could be things that we regret, disappointments, pain of the past. Saying, I forget those things and I reach forward to those things that are ahead. So in this way, we are called to walk. So today, as we have this invitation, as we have this exhortation, let's put it to use today in our daily life. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us to walk in this manner. We thank you for the example that have been set by people who followed you diligently, God, who pressed on no matter what, forgetting those things that are behind them and reaching forward to those things that are ahead. Lord, they laid hold of that 
that calling, that thing, that responsibility for which you laid hold of them. And so God, we have them as examples. And so Lord, you're exhorting us today to walk in such a manner and enable us to do that today, Lord, even as we live for you, wherever we are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.